welcome to this lesson on the central deployment in Smart Console tool. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe when central deployment in Smart Console should be used, describe the prerequisites for deployment, describe the process of deployment, and use this tool to perform a common deployment use case. So, when should we use central deployment in Smart Console? This tool should be used when you wish to perform a simple, straightforward upgrade to a major version or install a Jumbo hotfix on multiple gateways simultaneously. In terms of prerequisites, you need to ensure that you have admin privileges with manage license and packages permissions, the latest CPU's deployment agent is installed on the target gateways, SIC is established between the management and the target gateway. And finally, for online deployments, the management server must be able to connect to the Checkpoint Cloud. Let's go over the deployment process in high level before we get into a common use case scenario. To begin, we select the targets for deployment. Next, we select the package to be deployed. And finally, we install. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's focus on the following scenario of deployment. Marla, the admin, would like to upgrade five gateways and clusters from R80.30 to R80.40, followed by a Jumbo hotfix deployment. In this case, she would like to use the central deployment in Smart Console tool and not CDT, as her use case is simple and straightforward and does not require any additional actions. In this scenario, the deployment will be conducted online from the perspective of the management server, while the gateways will be receiving their package directly from the management server and not from the Checkpoint Cloud. To begin, Marla switches to the Manage and Settings tab and selects the Package Repository option. This is where the necessary packages are downloaded to. She needs to define a new package for online download so she chooses Download from Cloud. This means that the packages will be downloaded from the Checkpoint Cloud onto the management server. Now, she enters the exact name of the major release package as it appears in the user center. She repeats this process for the Jumbo Hotfix package. Once complete, the packages are added to the repository view. Next, Marla switches to the Gateways and Servers tab and selects the target gateways by control-clicking the desired gateways. Note that in cases of installation of a hotfix or an upgrade on multiple gateways, cluster excels, VS6 gateways or VS6 clusters, you can select up to 30 objects using the control button. When deploying to a cluster, you must select the cluster object and not the cluster members. Now, Marla clicks the Actions button and selects the Version Upgrade option. This opens the Central Deployment Upgrade Version window. Since Marla is choosing a specific upgrade path, she selects this option to manually choose the relevant packages. She starts typing the package name, which triggers an autocomplete. She verifies to ensure compatibility of the package with the target gateways. And finally, she installs. Marla monitors the deployment progress by opening the relevant task in the Recent Tasks view. After major version deployments, Marla always remembers to perform a policy installation, which pushes the policy to the newly upgraded gateways.
and this completes the major version deployment. Marla repeats the same process in order to update the gateways to the latest Jumbo hotfix. Note that in cases of failure while upgrading to a major version, the system will revert automatically to the previously installed version, similarly to how this is done in CPUs. And with that, our central deployment in Smart Console lesson has come to an end. In this lesson, we explored when central deployment in Smart Console should be used, the prerequisites for deployment, and the process of deployment. You should now be able to perform a common use case deployment using this deployment tool. Thank you for taking this lesson, and I'll see you in our next one.